Hi, this is Doug Case with RisingLine.com. I'm going to be walking you through a quick introductory screencast tutorial for using CMS Made Simple. This is the content management system application that we've developed your site on. And um, this is going to give you just a, a basic introduction to how the system works. And actually, uh, it's, as the name implies, it's, it's simple. It's as easy as it gets for content management systems. It does take a little bit of um, effort. You know, you need to go ahead and go through those screenshot tutorials the, um, that you would have been emailed and, you know, watch some of our screencasts. But um, it, it takes about the skill set maybe of, of using Microsoft Word and knowing how to use the different styling and layout features of that. So it's pretty simple. Um, one thing to keep in mind, your particular website, the design we did, for you, different website designs and layouts uh, will have different areas that that you may be able to easily update the content on. Um, kind of as a rule of thumb, the more detailed and custom that we do a layout or a page design, the less likely it is that you're going to be able to update the content there. But on almost every site that we develop using CMS Made Simple, there's going to be some portion of it that uh, you're going to be able to update by logging in. So um, you'll have received uh, your own URL for login and your own username and password. And uh, this is, I'm just going to start at that login screen. You may have a, a version of CMS Made Simple that we've installed that might be a little bit different, but pretty much um, everything's still going to work the same as what we're going to show you in this version. So when you log into your um, your administration panel in CMS Made Simple, the account permissions that you have are going to limit what you see. So you're not going to be overwhelmed by a bunch of options and choices that maybe a uh, full administrator would see. And this is going to help make your life easier because you don't have to pick and choose between a bunch of, of maybe confusing options. But when you log in, the, uh, the primary area that you're going to be paying attention to is going to be in this content area here. Um, usually just pages um, or news. But so there's one thing I want to cover first. It's very important um, and it's a great get out of jail free card if something strange should happen, which it usually doesn't, but it's always good to be safe. The first thing to do when you log in it, every time when you're going to make any changes is to go up under extensions. There's only one option you'll be able to see under there. It's this MySQL dump. You want to click that and just click this button once and you're going to see all that stuff you don't really have to pay attention to other than to know that means that your backup was successful. So that means you've just made a backup of your of your website at this point. So if for some reason something goes horribly wrong, which again is pretty hard to do um, and pretty unlikely, but it's a, it's a great feature to have to be able to back up that easy. Um, so let's go back to the main content tab here and this was this was accessed from the first page you log in right from under this section. You can get there either through clicking on these main pages that have links or the same exact links are in the drop down menu. So let's take a look at pages and um, this these are going to be all the pages that you have the ability to edit on your on this website. Now there are some pages that we may have set up on the site that are going to be um, that have code in them that you wouldn't want to be able to get into because um, you wouldn't want to risk typing over the code or something and messing that page up. So you may not see every single page that's listed on your site, but you're going to see all the pages that you're going to be able to, to edit. Um, so what you do is you look down this list of pages and sometimes when you log in, you may not see all of the pages revealed. Um, this, you'll, you'll see an expand icon there. You just need to click that and it will uh, show you those pages underward, under the uh, main title. So these pages, by the way, in, these, in this hierarchy, correspond exactly to the drop-down menu system on the front page of the website. I'm just going to click out to the front page of this particular website and show you. So under what we do, you see sample subpage 1, sample subpage 2. If you look under here, that corresponds. So just to give you an idea of how the, how the system is set up and how it relates to the front end. So you, uh, you take a look at the page that you want to change or edit and you just click on it. And that's going to bring you into the uh, page edit view. And really from here it's going to work very much like Microsoft Word might. Uh, you can delete this, type over it, um, 
add new paragraphs, um, delete items, and, and typically you're, this, this is just sample text, but your site is going to have the actual content that we put in there. And so many times you're just going to want to change, you know, a wording of a paragraph or a wording of a sentence. And you, it works just like Microsoft Word. You just pick the section you want and type over it. Um, one of the things that, that um, people often do, you may have your page content that you've created in another application like Microsoft Word. Um, and I have a sample here just of some, some um, filler text. Uh, in that case, the one thing you, you, you don't want to do is take this and paste it directly into, this app, in, into the edit window because it may carry with it some, some background code from Word that's going to cause problems with, with how your website lays out. So what you can do is just highlight this, copy it, and then go over here and say we want to put that paragraph in this area. We have a special button up here, and this is a paste from Word button. And what this does is it kind of cleans up the, the, the text and the background code from Word so that it will, that will style in the same, you know, in the same manner as the rest of your content on your website. You just paste it in there first, and then you hit insert, and now it's uh, it's pasted in the uh, it's pasted on the page. So you've you've added some content here, and uh, but when you add content to save it, there's there's you have to press either submit, which saves the, the changes and then takes you out to the main page, or you want to hit apply, which saves the changes and keeps keeps you on this page edit. Um, usually, what I recommend doing is you want to hit apply. And so we, we know the content's been changed. And to take a look at it on the front end of the website, you can hit this little icon right here. So let's see what that change actually looks like out there on the website. So you see, here's the new paragraph we put in. The styling, because of the style sheet that we have in the back and because we clean it up from Microsoft Word, is exactly the same as the rest of the content on the site, which is, which is what we want to do. And uh, you can take a live view of what, what changes you've just made there. So let's jump back over into the, uh, the page edit and just take a look at some of these other items here. So um, like Microsoft Word, you do have the ability to make some changes to text. Um, you, can, you can bold, italicize, underline. Um, as a general rule of thumb, as far as to keep a professional look to your site, you want to minimize that um, to as much degree as possible. Um, if you get into you know pages that start looking like this and they have every other thing is is underlined or italicized it it um, it tends to uh, cheapen the the quality of of your of your presentation for your website and and helps erode or it may erode some of the quality that um, that we want to establish for your message so generally we want to really limit those things um, and not uh, not create lots of different change within the text. And keep in mind, the text that you're do that you're going to be changing and adding here is going to be style. Gonna, the style is going to be added from the style sheet when it's headed to the when it's saved back to the main site. So another nice feature here is this undo button, which is pretty self-explanatory. But you want to remember it's up there because you can easily jump back a few steps um, with the text. Some of the common things that you might be doing are. If you want to make a hyperlink to another page, another site, you just simply highlight the text, click the link icon, type in the, the, uh, the URL, and a lot of times we like to have those, if it's an external site, open in a new window, and just insert in there. So just to show you how that works, we were going to go ahead and apply. So that means it's saving, but it's keeping us on this page. Then we're going to jump out and take a look. Just hit refresh on this. Here's the live page. Um, you can see that now that the link is put in there, and it works. So that's good. So we've take, taken a look at adding text, editing text, how to save it. It's really super straightforward um, in, in, in the basic, basic functions for, for adding text. Um, you can also do other features, such as I'm going to copy some, some more text over from, from this Word document so I don't have to type it in. So I just put it in there. I make sure and use my paste from Word. And I'm pasting it in there, cleaning up the code. Sometimes you, you want to utilize the, the backspace when you 
see there's an extra space there you just want to make sure that you're getting everything as, as consistent as you can but you can go ahead and just kind of experiment with that that's the nice thing about the system so I've got kind of a list of items here I can go and create uh, a bulleted list like that uh, I can also create a numbered list if I prefer but so just you know works very much like Microsoft Word so hit apply on that and we can see what it looks like out on the main site. You see it's nicely styled to match what we've set up for the style sheet for, for your particular um, for your particular site. So that uh, pretty much gives you an overview of, of how page content works. It's, it's quite straightforward. Um, we'll have some other screenshot tutorials coming down the road which will get into some more detail as far as images and, and other items. The, uh, I do want to show you as far as content goes, let's go back to the main page here. So as I mentioned, typically the areas that you're going to be going to are pages. The other one is news. And um, news, the interface works very similar to uh, the pages. This is pretty much, it's going to be like a blog post or a press release or something like that. It's tied into an RSS feed every time you publish it. So it's got some some benefits there as far as distri distributing the, the information, but rather than go into a page, you simply hit add article and um, works the same exact way. And that's one of the nice things about the system is this, this editor is gonna be exactly the same whether you're in um, the page view or whether you're gonna be posting a news article. Um, news article, I'm just gonna do another sample here. Paste from Word clean up that code so it doesn't mess up our page and have text content. Um, one of the nice things about the news feature here, if you're publishing something, say you're publishing an event, um, you can use choose to use an expiration date. So if your event is on March 15th, we can set this automatically so this will be expired and taken off your left site is live on March 16th. So you don't have to worry about coming back in and deleting that. It's kind of a little advanced feature but that I'll cover since I'm looking at it. But um, so the news post is there. It will show up in on, on the page on your site that uh, we have set up to display, to display the news. So um, that is it in a nutshell as far as getting in and editing probably one of the most important things to remember is to always hit the MySQL dump backup button before you start just in case always remember if you're using content from Microsoft Word or anything else for that matter always paste it into the paste from Word icon before you put it into your page and um, other than that it's uh, very much like using a, a typical text editor. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can contact me anytime. Contact information is on risingline.com. And I look forward to our next session. Thank you very much.